Hole 1 North Bull, the 387 yard par 4. Like most opening holes, it eases you into the course. With reachable bunkers right and left, it may be prudent to lay up short of the right trap, leaving a slightly longer approach. From about 50 yards short of the green, it is well guarded by bunkers. If you get out of position, you need to consider avoiding the sand. The green is a narrow, raised surface with traps front right and left. The left side slopes away gently. Unless the pin is tight left, it is probably easier to get up and down from the left side. Check what side the pin is cut and play your approach shot accordingly. Hold two Babingtons the 467 yard opening par five. This gentle dogleg right is the easiest birdie chance on the course with the prevailing west wind. The fairway bunkers are well placed. A longer hitter can consider carrying the right trap and shortening the hole slightly. If you can't reach the green in two, consider your layup. The bunkers short left and right are an awkward distance to the green. If the rough is not too thick, the right side gives you a better angle to the green. The raised green is difficult to get up and down from laterally. Be strategic with your approach, as short siding yourself requires a deft touch in order to get up and down. Hole 3 Alps is a 400 yard par 4. Aptly named with a high mound on the left side of the fairway, it is almost a blind tee shot. Visually, it is deceptive from the tee. There is plenty of fairway left and what you see right of the mound is actually rough. The angle to the green is better from the left side. Curly's yard short left of the putting surface can foreshorten the approach shot. So go with your yardage rather than your visual perception. It is a tough green to hit, particularly with a longer club. The front bunkers are probably better than leaving yourself a short pitch from in front of them. The middle of this green is always a good target. It slopes gently from left to right, which makes the right side slightly easier to save par from. Hole 4 Feather Bed the 173 yard first par three. This short hole sends you in the opposite direction to the opening three holes. It is therefore likely to be back into the wind. The green is slightly raised and is very well guarded by two deep front bunkers right and left. The trap about 10 yards short of the front left of the green can alter your depth perception. If you can avoid the bunkers left, there is a chance that your ball will kick towards the green. The right side slopes away and has another guarding trap. Ignore the pin, hit the middle of the green. Hole 5, Ireland's Eye, the 446 yard par 4. Heading back away from the clubhouse, this long narrow par 4 is demanding. There is a mound on the right side of the fairway which you need to carry. Left of the fairway kicks down to the centre, so if you can visualise a bigger target off the tee by seeing the left bank as fairway, you can help yourself psychologically. If you don't get a good tee shot away, there are two well-placed deep bunkers about 60 yards short of the green that are difficult to get on the green from. So it might be best to take your medicine and lay up short of them in two. The green has a generous front, but a deep and difficult bunker front left. This is the second toughest hole in the course, so think carefully and use your shot to secure a bogey, which is a respectable score.
Hole 6 Valley, the 573 yard par 5. Strategically this long curving par 5 is about making the correct decisions, off the tee, for your second shot and in your approach. There are bunkers left and right off the tee, all reachable. It may be wise to lay up short of the first right trap and try to avoid the left traps by viewing the right side as your target. Your second shot is very important too. There is a bunker on the right side about 100 yards from the green. If you can't carry it, you should lay up short of it. The right side of the fairway leaves you a blind shot to the green. You need to try to hit down the left side in order to have a better view and angle to the green. So consider the mounds on the left, which should kick your second shot back into the fairway. If you can reach the green in two, be aware of the bunker's short left of the green. The putting surface is also tricky with a bunker waiting on the left side for a shot hit right to left on a green that slopes that way. The middle of the green is a good target here, with par being a good score. Hole 7, Ardalon, the 187 yard par 3. The second par 3 is a long one with water well short of the right side of the green but very much in play. There are bunkers front right and left that require an accurate shot off the tee to find the green. The putting surface is raised which makes missing either side a difficult task to get up and down. There is gorse back right and the slope runs into it. There is however a generous green so once again be sensible and be happy to aim for the middle Hole 8, Ben Hoth, the 388 yard par 4. This dogleg left is framed by Hoth Head in the distance, which makes it a very picturesque hole. The designer is asking for a right to left shot off the tee in order to both find the fairway and shorten your approach shot. There is a big mound left and a bunker right off the tee, which you may have to consider laying up short of as a long hitter. The green has a big runoff to the left and a deep gathering bunker front right. With a mound right and long right, which kicks you back to the green's fringe, use the bank to give you a bigger target on the right, as left is very tough to chip close from. Hole 9 Davidson's, the 163 yard par 3. This elegant short hole, with its secluded teeing area and its beautifully framed green, runs along the end of the golf course. It is heavily guarded by bunkers. The green slopes to the right, which means even if you hit the green, you can still run into the right bunker. A good option here is to err on the short side if you are not sure of your club selection. As with so many of the greens here at Royal Dublin, Think about the best place to miss your shot in order to make getting up and down easier. 